there everyone, I'm The Lesson Hacker and this is the Craig and Dave channel where we take complex tech topics, strip out the nonsense and serve it up with a side of actually interesting insights. Now today we're talking about DeepSeek, the Chinese AI startup that's got Silicon Valley execs nervously refreshing their stock prices. How have they built a chat GPT rival at a fraction of the cost? Is it sorcery? Is it dodgy accounting? Or brace yourself, could it actually be better tech? Let's find out. So what is DeepSeek and why is it making waves? Well, DeepSeek are an AI company based in Hangzhou, China. The latest model DeepSeek V3 and DeepSeek R1 have stunned the AI world, not just because they're high quality, but because they were built for absolute peanuts compared to OpenAI's budget. We're talking about training costs supposedly under $6 million. That's like getting a Ferrari for the price of a secondhand scooter. And if that sounds too good to be true, well, you're not alone. Analysts, tech insiders, and probably OpenAI's accountants are all raising eyebrows. To make things even spicier, DeepSeek's AI assistant has shot to the top of the US App Store, beating ChatGPT, and let's be real, if there's one thing Americans love more than AI chatbots, it's winning. So how did they build it for so little? Now, either DeepSeek has access to some magical cost-cutting hack, or they've genuinely found a better way to train AI. The secret sauce? Well, apparently it's something called distillation, and no, it's not the kind that gives you alcohol. AI distillation is a technique where you train a bigger model first and then squeeze the knowledge out of it to create a smaller, more efficient version. Think of it like revising for an exam, not reading the whole textbook, just the good bits. This method is stupidly efficient. One research team recreated OpenAI's reasoning model for about $450 in 19 hours. Another did it for $50 in 26 minutes. That's less than a Domino's pizza order, and those don't even come with cutting edge AI. By using distillation, DeepSeek has leapfrogged the old throw money at it strategy and built an AI that punches well above its weight. OpenAI's boss, Sam Altman, even admitted they might need a new open source strategy after DeepSeek's success, which in corporate terms is the equivalent of saying, yeah, we might have messed up. Now, what are the drawbacks? Of course, it's not all smooth sailing. First, there's the elephant in the room, or elephant in the server room. How many NVIDIA chips does DeepSeek actually have? Some critics claim they're secretly using tens of thousands of NVIDIA's top tier chips, far more than export controls should allow. If true, that means that either somebody's breaking US trade rules or those chips are sneaking across the border in the world's most expensive game of hide and seek. Nan, Nan, have you been illegally exporting NVIDIA chips to China again? I'm telling you, Nan, this is dodgy stuff. The police will come for you. Then there's the accuracy problem. Distillation is efficient, but some data always gets lost in translation. A distilled AI model is like a really good summary of a novel. It captures the main ideas, but might forget the minor details, like that one character who died in chapter three, but somehow mysteriously reappears at the end. Are there any security concerns? Well, now, if you're worried about AI safety, this whole situation is a double-edged sword. On one hand, cheaper AI means more people can experiment with it, leading to faster innovation. On the other hand, Cheaper AI means more people can experiment with it. We've already seen that AI models can be used for misinformation, deepfakes, and highly questionable decision-making. And if DeepSeek is pushing out models that rival open AIs, what's stopping someone from cooking up a dodgy AI in their garage? Brian, Brian, it sounds a bit like you. Are you using DeepSeek to run that dodgy AI site you founded? Yeah, nobody wants deepfakes of Elon Musk, dude. But hey, why worry about AI security when you can just ask ChatGPT if it's planning to overthrow humanity? I'm sure it'll be honest. So DeepSeek has flipped the AI game on its head, proving that you don't need billions of dollars to build powerful models, just clever techniques. OpenAI and the rest of big tech are now scrambling to adapt, which means we could be heading for a new AI arms race. Whether that's good news or terrifying news, well, I'll leave that up to you. One thing's for sure though, Silicon Valley's not going to take this line down. They'll probably respond with, I don't know, even more expensive AI? Maybe an NFT powered chatbot? And speaking of AI getting cheaper, at this rate, I reckon my fridge will be running a large language model by Christmas. Lesson hacker, would you like some milk? I mean, that sounds good to me. To summarize, DeepSeek, a Chinese AI company, has built a powerful ChatGPT rival for a fraction of the cost, using a technique called distillation to train smaller, more efficient models. Their AI assistant has already topped the US App Store, and even OpenAI admits they may need to rethink their strategy. There are concerns about how they got their NVIDIA chips and whether cheaper AI could lead to security risks or misinformation. Big tech is now scrambling to respond, and at this rate, even our fridges might start running AI. I'm The Lesson Hacker, this has been the Craig and Dave channel, and I'll see you next time.